Good morning! If you've seen part one of this series of videos in Bath, you may remember that we walked around Royal Crescent. In this video, we're starting in Royal Crescent and walking down to the city centre, ending up at the world famous Roman Baths. We'll leave Royal Crescent and walk down Brock Street towards the circus. There's some nice art galleries and shops along here. You can also see my reflection in the window. In front of us is the Circus Restaurant. We had a great meal here last night. We're coming up to the circus now. You might remember I said that Royal Crescent was designed by John Wood the Younger. Well the circus that we're looking at now was designed by his dad, John Wood the Elder. We can see that the buildings are designed in a perfect circle. The Latin word for circle was circulus or circus. We'll get a better view in this stock image taken from a hot air balloon. The circus is a ring of large townhouses built between 1754 and 1768. It's now a grade one listed building. If we look closely we can see the buildings are adorned with numerous emblems including serpents, devices representing the arts and sciences and Masonic symbols. The parapets are adorned with stone acorn finials. Just behind the circus, you can visit Bath's Fashion Museum. We're going to head down into the city centre now. The city of Bath is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with most of the main buildings built using the distinctive creamy Cotswold stone. As we walk into the city centre we pass Jolly's department store. This is one of the oldest department stores in Europe. It's changed hands a few times over the years, but the Jolly's name lives on. In front of us now, we can just see the distinctive frontage of the Royal Mineral Water Hospital. This was founded in 1738 as a general hospital for the poor, and its name gives us a clue as to why the Romans built a town here 2,000 years ago. They recognised the healing properties of the local water, and in particular the hot springs. This building was also designed by John Wood the Elder. We'll just pop down this side road. I want to show you an offer that I noticed earlier. Love it. We're coming up now to Bath Abbey. 
There's been a place of worship here since the Benedictine monks set up a monastery in the 7th century. It's been rebuilt several times, with major restoration carried out in the 1860s. It's one of the largest examples of perpendicular Gothic architecture in the West Country. The Abbey is now a Grade 1 listed building. The inside is particularly noted for its magnificent fan vaulting. The River Avon flows through Bath and passes in front of the Abbey. The most famous bridge over the river is Pulteney Bridge. This was designed by Robert Adam and was completed in 1774, the same year that Royal Crescent was completed. Imagine all of the development that was going on in Bath in the 1770s. Pulteney Bridge is highly unusual in that it has shops and tea rooms built across its full span on both sides. It's been designated as a Grade 1 listed building. It's probably the most photographed site in the city. We're walking back now behind the Abbey towards the world famous Roman Baths. The baths are here in front of us. The buildings that we can see were built in the 18th century and mostly designed by our old friends John Wood the Elder and his son John Wood the Younger. We'll walk through between the baths and the abbey around to the entrance to the Roman baths. Incidentally, if you're wondering where all the people are, it's quarter past seven in the morning now, so most sensible people are still in bed. Here we are at the entrance to the Roman baths, which aren't open yet, it's too early. We'll go inside later and that will be the third video in this series of videos in the historic city of Bath. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching and please come back to see inside the Roman Baths.